What is happening guys? What is happening? Ooh. <laughs> what is happening? How are you? Welcome to Monday morning message. Welcome to a new week. Welcome to a new Monday. Welcome to Monday morning message. Your 5 to 10 minute cure to Monday blues. Shubham my brother, what's going on? How are you, bhai? Welcome to Monday morning message, folks. Namaskaram Akka, Namaskaram, great to see you join, Rishab, great to see you join brother, welcome, Zohir, how are you doing brother, good to see you join, how are you guys doing, let me know in the comments below, Monday, new day, new week, how are you doing, let me know in the comments below, it's fresh, it's dull, how are you doing, <laughs> Milena, hola, Folks, like every week, like every Monday, we got a new message for you this week. And what is the message for this week? You know, in the beginning, I was actually confused between two, three messages. You know, there's two, three important things that I thought would be important to bring out. And lately, I heard a video and it was very powerful. This one line in the video was so powerful. And it made me reflect. It made me feel like I want to share this on the Monday morning message. You know what that line was? The mind is always looking for something new. If you're in business, if you're in work, you will see the mind is always striving to find something new. It wants to catch on to something new. The mind gets bored very easily. What is fascinating? A new car, a new technology, you know? a new way to do things. The mind is looking for something new. But the heart is yearning for the old. The heart wants to find something good. Heart thrives on old friendships, on old relations, on old customs and rituals because this is a very emotional aspect of thing. You know, we don't prize our relationships on being new. We prize and have pride on our relationships when they are what? Old. So the emotions, the heart yearns on the old. You talk about, oh, I have been going to this specific house or restaurant or we related to them for so many years. Whenever you see there is the game of emotion, you look at aging. You look at the thing, you yearn for it being old. But whenever you look at the mind, the mind is always striving something new. Uh, I got this new piece of clothing. I got this new piece of jewelry. And hence, whenever you see, whenever you got up, get caught up with obsessed newness, with, oh, I want this new, I want this new, I want this new car, I want this new clothes, I want all these things new, realize that you are in your mental process too much. Because the heart it's looking for the old things. It's looking for, okay, who are my old friends? Who are my old family members? Who are the people I want to relate much with? Very small but deep line. Mind is always looking for new. The heart, your emotions, is always yearning for the old. And so, if you get caught up sometimes with, oh, I want this, 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 this wantingness, realize that you're in this newness trap of the mind. And how can you pacify that? By realizing, okay, what if what if I employ my emotions a little more now? What if I realize, oh, I want to get fulfilled through experience of my emotions and heart. Don't let the mind always fool you because it's always looking to switch and yearn into something new. But the heart values the old. <laughs> Cheers. Much love. I will see you next Monday, same time, same location, with a different perspective on life, with a new message for the week. So this week, if you get too caught up with your mental process, go into your heart and see what it's yearning for. Cheers.